I've now spent an entire year drawing realistic Lego and in today's video I'm going to show you every single one of the pieces that I've done and also tell you like a little bit about the pieces as well. So let's just dive straight into it. Starting off with the first drawing that I ever did in this Lego drawing series, the Lego Bugatti Chiron. And the whole reason I actually did this was because at the time I was drawing a lot of like normal cars and then I thought lots of people draw normal cars but you know what no one else does? They don't draw realistic Lego cars. So I had to go and I kind of got hooked. So I then went and drew the Lego Lamborghini Scion and I was super happy with this one because obviously you've got like the highlights, I've used some like turquoises and things and it's just really vibrant and cool. So anyway, following along with this, I was like, I'm really enjoying drawing these Lego cars. So I thought I also have the Dodge Charger. So you know what, I'm gonna draw this. And this is all right. I'm not too happy with how like, like prominent all the highlights are and things. And this is something that I started to kind of like taper out um, in the later pieces. But anyway, I was still enjoying Lego cars. So I thought I also have the Porsche 911 RSR. So I'll draw this as well. Uh, one thing with this one, I'm not too happy with the spoiler. I don't think, I think it's a bit curved, but overall, I think it's quite cool. You've got lots of detail on the back and yeah, it does look pretty cool. And now obviously I've drawn the Lego Bugatti Chiron and also the Cyan. So I then thought, I kind of want to complete the whole collection of the 1 to 8 Lego Technic supercars. So you've obviously got the Chiron, the Cyan, then you've got the Daytona, and also the Porsche 911 GT3 RS. So I then went to a friend's house because I didn't have the um, GT3 RS, and I took a picture of her model, and then I drew this. And this is like one of my favorite Lego drawings because it's just so cool, and I just really like it. And yeah, obviously to finish the collection off, I drew the Lego Ferrari Daytona. And I think out of all four of the 1 to 8 Lego Technic supercars, this one is my favorite drawing um, out of all of them because I did don't know why all the highlights with the oranges and the pinks it's just it just looks cool so anyway I've now drawn lots of cars in pencil so I thought to myself okay so no one's ever done like a realistic Lego car painting so I then got the Peugeot 9x8 and I had a go at painting it and created this and if I'm being honest I don't like paint it's just messy it's like not controllable so this is like the only painting that I did and I don't think I'm going to do any more in the future because yeah it wasn't very enjoyable I mean the results are pretty cool but yeah it's a bit meh. So at this time, it was all it's like approaching the end of the year. So I then started to design some like Christmas cards. So I've got like an elf, you've got a little snowman, I've also got a reindeer, also got a Father Christmas, and I've also got a turkey. So yeah, those were like kind of like seasonal things. I haven't really shown them for a while. But anyway, I'm gonna move those across so that when I'm layering stuff on top of one another, it doesn't crinkle. Get out of here. Right, so anyway, following along with this, I was thinking I want to try like hyper realism. So I had to go at drawing this Lego Stormtrooper, but I wasn't, I mean, it was okay, but I wasn't like majorly happy with this because the pose is like really boring and it's kind of small. So for my next drawing, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go bigger and kind of have some more dynamic poses and not just have one minifigure. How about two? So I created this massive drawing of the Lego Han and Chewie. But if I'm being honest, I wasn't too happy with this one as well. Considering the amount of time I spent on this, I think I was working on this for like over a month, but it's just a bit like boring. I don't know whether because it, it lacks color or I don't know. There's just something about it that's just a bit meh. So anyway, at the start of 2024, so this year, I was like, you know what? I'll try minifigures in color. And I created this, the Lego Mandalorian and Grogu. And I have to say, this has to be like my favorite Lego drawing out of all of them. I don't know why, it's just so dynamic. And I actually had to blue tack Grogu onto the back of the Mandalorian figure in order to take the reference photo to draw from. But yeah, this is um, the first print in this um, series to sell out. And yeah, with that said, let's move on. So I then thought, okay, I've done this. And I'm also going to try doing the Lego Captain America and Iron Man because I got um, a Captain America minifigure for Christmas and I already had a Iron Man and I just thought that would look really cool as a duo. I don't think the shield's quite circular, but overall I'm pretty happy with this. And then what I did is I did like a challenge where I was um, unboxing like a mystery Marvel minifigure and then I created these three. And this Wolverine was my favorite, but I actually ran over it with my chair the other day and that really annoyed me because it's now all crinkled as you can see there. But whatever. And then after doing those, I thought, you know what? I liked Ninjago when I was younger. So I created this Lego Lloyd Garmadon drawing. And I've got to say, this is probably um, one of my favorite minifigure drawings as well. It's just so like dynamic and cool. And yeah, there's pretty much nothing else to say on that. It's just pretty cool. And then I thought, you know what? We need some more Star Wars stuff because Star Wars is pretty cool. So I just created a Lego Darth Vader drawing. And I wasn't too happy when I did this because obviously the cape is so dark and then some of like the side here, it just falls into the cape and stuff. But yeah, I think it's pretty cool. 
And yeah, I'm pretty happy with this one. And then what I did is I took a little break from drawing Lego for about a month and then I came back and then I drew this, the Lego Power Miner. And this is um, kind of like a nostalgic piece for me because this Lego Power Miner was actually the first Lego minifigure that I got when I was about eight. So yeah, that was pretty cool. And then following on from this one, I thought, cause the Mandalorian one was so good, I then went and drew Lego Boba Fett. And here, whilst I was drawing this, um, Lots of people were commenting on like the posts that I was putting on Instagram, like, oh, where's like the Pathfinder or Poncho and stuff. And it turns out that because this is like the Boba Fett from the Book of Boba Fett series, he doesn't actually have a Poncho in that um, film. So this is kind of like a hybrid between the classical um, Boba Fett and also the Book of Boba Fett, Boba Fett. But whatever, it doesn't matter. I think it, I'm really happy with this drawing and it's still pretty cool. So following along from this one, I then created the Lego Benny because why not? Who doesn't love a classic 1990 something spaceman? And I was really happy with how I did the, um, the stud on his blaster here because it looks nice and transparent and it's just like really vibrant and cool. And obviously he's really happy, so it's really cool. So whatever. And then what I did is I actually drew the Lamborghini Countach and this was actually, I was doing this while I was doing a bigger drawing, which I'll show you in a second. But yeah, this was done using Faber-Castell's Pit Matte Graphite and it was just kind of like a test. And honestly, it turned out pretty cool. Uh, it was my first Lego Speed Champions drawing. And yeah, I'll show you the next one now. So the next one was a challenge that I did over on all my socials where I spent one second drawing this Lego McLaren F1 car for every like the series got. And I think it took about 130 something thousand likes to do. And this was actually the drawing that got my first viral post on Instagram. I think it's at like 1.3 million like or views even, which is just crazy the amount of people who have seen this drawing. And yeah, I gotta say, I've got this, <laughs> I actually got this drawing on a t-shirt. I like it so much and yeah. This is really cool and let's move on. So following along from this, I kind of had like a little break so I went a bit smaller again to do this Lego Nissan GTR drawing and actually recently um, Nissan picked up and actually saw this and they posted it on their official page which was really, really cool. And I've got to say, this is probably one of my favorite um, car drawings ever as well. I don't know why, it's just really cool. Yeah. So anyway, following along from this, um, I've actually been going to like a lot of Lego shows and what I wanted was like a smaller kind of print that I could sell to people as well. So I created this Lego Captain Rex drawing and I was really happy with this because it's actually like a 90 pound minifigure in real life. So what I had to do is take a picture of it um, from one of the traders um, who are at one of these Lego shows and they kindly allow me to take a photograph and then I drew that photograph and this is the drawing that I got from it. Now, the next drawing that I'm about to show you is the most epic drawing that I have ever done in my entire life. It took about 65 hours hours to do and if you're if you've been following me for a while you know it's the Lego Technic BMW M1000RR. I've got to say this is like the most insane drawing that I've ever created. If I just lift it up to the camera a bit so you can actually like see some of the details but yeah 65 hours of work and I think the sketch alone took about 14 hours to do which is longer than most of the drawings um, in total took that I've shown you previously. And yeah, this is just, I've also got this one on a t-shirt as well, just to show you how much I like this one. So anyway, moving on. So after I did this, um, because obviously like the duo pieces of like the Han and Chewie and also the Captain America and Iron Man, I created this, the Batman and Joker one, because lots of people have been asking for like a DC piece. And obviously I haven't done anything from the DC universe. So I created this and obviously to do like the photograph or to, you to take the reference photo to do this drawing, I had to like, um, put like loads of different like minifigure platforms and stuff to hold Batman up. But yeah, I was really happy with this. It's really nice and dynamic. And I think it's like my most dynamic piece out of all of them. So following along from this one um, with the release of Deadpool and Wolverine um, at the end of this year, well not at the end, um, when I am now, I created this, the Deadpool and Wolverine piece. And I actually, again, I had to ask my friends from the um, brick festivals that I've been going to, to allow me to take a picture of this um, Deadpool um, minifigure and then I have the Wolverine minifigure myself. So I then like combine those pictures to create this drawing here. And yeah, really happy with how this one turned out as well. And this was like my final finished drawing for this video, but I'm also gonna show you like what I'm currently working on at the moment, which is the Mercedes um, Speed Champion F1 car. And I'm doing this with the exact same challenge as before. And yeah, that is pretty much my entire Lego drawing portfolio. So thank you so much for watching this video all the way through. And as you've made it this far, you might be interested in a signed limited edition print of one of the drawings that I've shown you today. And they will be available down in the description where I have my shop. And yeah, they're all limited editions, so there's not many left. Um, so you might wanna go and check those out soon. And they're great gifts for like Lego fans or just to add to your own collection as there's like nothing else in the entire world like them. And with that said, thank you again so much for watching and I shall hopefully see you in the next one.